Hello students, I'm Scott Woodyard, and if you are watching this video, then you are thinking about taking AP Art History with me next year. In this class, you will study 250 works of art from around the globe, analyzing the form, function, content, and context of each piece. You will learn how politics, culture, patronage, nationality, gender, and religion can influence the creation of a piece of art, whether it be a fine art like painting, sculpture, or architecture, or one of the more decorative arts like carpet making or jewelry making. You will study pieces of art that were created before the advent of the written word, all the way to works of art being created by artists who are still active today. By taking this class, you'll learn how to look critically at a work of art, analyzing it instead of just making a snap judgment about the artist's intention or why, when, why he created the piece or what the function of the piece is supposed to be. You may end up finding yourself liking something that you never thought you'd like before. Studying art history could be valuable even if you choose not to enter into an art history related field, like being a curator in a museum or working, um, sorry, I forgot, working as a art reservation or conservation expert. For example, New York police captains have been encouraged to take art classes that have been offered by the Metropolitan Museum of Art. There's a particular class called the Art of Perception, which helps them to analyze visual details in art, which could be helpful in crime scene analysis. I hope to see you in AP Art History next year.